Now we will talk about the state sequencer, the second general uh, test module. So I will insert uh, state sequencer module. As you can see, this both module should be in the beginning. And here is the state uh, sequencer. State sequencer allows you to uh, make a lot, of, a lot of states. So you can simulate the pre-fault, for example, in the first state. After that, you can simulate the fault state, then post-fault state, then pre-fault again, then another fault. So you can uh, simulate different types of state sequencer. And it can be used for many uh, more uh, applications, such as auto closure or uh, circuit breaker uh, fail or switch on fault uh, function. If you need to simulate many post command with zone two and many more uh, application, and here if you don't need the voltage in this kind, you can simply uh, configure it to uh, be not used. So now I will use only the six channel of uh, current. As you can see, now I can add state after or state before. So for example, this uh, state it will be uh, the brief fault state so i will specify this current to be uh, 0 or 0.1 amp it will be equal uh, magnitude and the same is here and here is the time of the uh, brief fault state you can identify to be one second as you want and then i can add uh, some states to be uh, after that to simulate the fault state so i will press the uh, second state and i will uh, rename it as a fault state and here I can inject the nominal value or any value you need and you are expecting to have a trip command in uh, that uh, values and I can do the same for the other values here and I can identify also if I am expecting 500 milliseconds for example I can uh, I can make it uh, 600 uh, milliseconds which is 0.6 uh, second or you can keep it as this or you can configure it with uh, to be switched off on trigger by any kind of binary input or any one of uh, binary input as you can see here here is the analog output uh, view for the state 2 and here is for the state 1 which we name it default and fault so, and here is the binary output if you need to simulate any kind of event just you have to click uh, this binary output to be closed and you uh, in that case you have to wire the binary output 1 to the uh, binary input of the protection uh, relay then here we have a trigger in case if you need any trigger to be identified with the binary input one to switch off the injection you can identify it use the binary trigger condition as specified blue so for the second state i will need the trigger because i'm expecting the trip uh, command to become from the position relay so i will I, uh, I will take this binary trigger condition and then i have to identify which binary input uh, to be used as a trigger condition so if i am using the binary input one as a trip command i can uh, write here to be one which, what's the meaning of one? Which mean, uh, this means the binary input is normally open and it will be closed. If you make it zero, it means the binary input is normally closed and it will be open. So the changing of the state from zero to one is very mandatory to uh, accurate assessment for your test result. If you are using one uh, more as a start and a trip contact at the same time, you can identify the logic between this. So you can make and gate. So once the two binary input, both of them, change it from zero to one, will assess as a trip time and it will give you the assessment and I will show you now how to add your assessment. Okay, so now as you can see here, after I add the binary input, now it's indicating the binary input and the time out. So if the binary input is not coming and it's not changing the status, it will switch off after 600 milliseconds. So whichever is coming, so it will detect this as uh, the, the first trigger. So now I will talk about the assessment. As I, as I mentioned in the presentation, this sequencer is one of the general test modules, which means I have to add manual assessment based on the relay tolerance and based on the relay user manual. Okay. For example, I, we will take this as an example. We have overcurrent stage, which is 1.8 amp, and the tolerance is uh, plus or minus 54 milliamp, which means this current operating range from 1.7 up to 1.85. So, for example, with this, I will here I will make it. Let us do it as a three phase to be easy to understand. So the current output P, I will make it not used. So this one, I have to uh, inject values more than 1.8 M. So I will inject, for example, 2. 2 M for the three phases. So I will inject three phase fault for 2 M, which is more than 1.8 M. And now I need to check the trip time of this overcurrent stage. Now it's different time and 500 milliseconds. So I will add here the time assessment and I will name this one to be I uh, greater trip time. So you can give it a name for your assessment. And here you have to uh, configure the ignore before. 
because now I will uh, start to measure the trip time beginning of uh, state number two because state one is a brief hold and it's a zero amp so there is no any expecting tripping happen so I will ignore before state two which is a false state and the start contact here the start it will be from the false state and the stop contact here is the binary input one which is the trip command to be uh, change the status from zero to one so I will indicate it like this and now because I know the trip time which is 500 milliseconds I will write it directly and here is the t division plus or minus and as we see from our presentation here is taking the absolute tolerance which is 10 millisecond so i will add it 10 millisecond in plus and minus so i will add here 0.1 here is the 10 millisecond and 0.1 so based on this assessment if the time is from 490 up to 510 it will be assessed as plus otherwise it will be failed now I create the manual assessment and it will be automatically linked. Okay. If I need to uh, link to my uh, values as uh, this 500 millisecond, if I have uh, the parameter setting as we will see in the protection testing library example. So you can uh, link to XRU and you can choose your time. For example, here, if you have time here, here we have no time. For example, here we have the circuit breaker trip time, which is 50 milliseconds. I can link it to this uh, value and I can use a multiplier uh, to be multiplied by 1 to 1.1, 1.2 and I can add also plus uh, some values which is the minimum operating time of the pressure relay and it will be automatically linked and as you can see the, it will, uh, the color it will be switched to the purple color which means this value is linked and if you uh, indicate this with the cursor and go to uh, linked value or this link to X-ray it will indicate which value it's linked to and you can identify uh, this link after that Okay, as you can see here, here is the brief fault, and here is the fault if you need to make uh, between state to state. So, for example, you are expecting the brief fault to be one second because there is no any trigger will come in the state one as it's a pre uh, fault. So, you can indicate this time and you can measure this time between state one and starting of state two without any trigger to measure this one second time. Okay, so this is the state assessment, and you can do also in the same assessment here. You can starting from default, for example, starting from default up to fault. And in that case, you have to remove this link because you are expecting now one second. Yes? So you can measure the state time between state to state. And if you, if you need to uh, select and measure this time band, you can do it by using also the uh, assessment here. Okay? So we have the uh, time signal view we have also here is the time signal view it will indicate the analog voltage and the analog current and it will also indicate the binary out, uh, binary output status if you have any binary output status and the binary input status it will be indicates as uh, blue it will indicate as blue after the fault happens after 500 milliseconds binary input one becoming high and it will give you here indication that the binary input one is changing from zero to one and we have also different views which is the phaser view for the injected uh, current and the voltage. Also, we have the impedance view. If you have impedance plane or quadrature zone reach, you have also, it will be shown here in the zone plan. And here is the report view. This is the state uh, sponsor uh, view. So I will get back to the uh, PTL. If you are using the PTL, I will keep it as it is. I will choose the PTL. Here is the Siemens 7SJ85. And here is the PTL available in our uh, customer portal. Also here you have to follow our Omicron Ohm's law, starting from the O and H and M. So if you have here X-Ray format, as you can see, just you can have to press file and choose the import relay setting. And from here you will have different input filters based on the type of the rotation relay and the manufacture of the rotation relay. So if you are testing uh, EBB, for example, you have to choose the X-Ray and for Siemens also you can use the standard filter for uh, X-Ray. And if you have SEL relay, you have to uh, check the TXT file for GE, or can check for the CSV file and many more uh, import filter based on many more uh, types of the protection uh, relay. So you have here for the Siemens 7 STG85, you have to uh, check the standard filter for the x -ray. Here is the two parameter values have been imported, and it gives you here the bus of this value, which I change it manually just to show you if you have any changed parameter, it will be imported and it will be reflected to the new x -ray, uh, parameter setting. Okay, after that, after you finish importing the relay setting, 
you have to go to the uh, hardware configuration and specify the uh, voltage channel and the current channel and the binary input as we uh, said before then you have here a lot of uh, uh, test modules you can use it you can add uh, more test modules you can remove some test modules if, in case of you don't need in your uh, protection uh, application and as you can see here it's 3d for the overcurrent, ready for the earth volt, for switch onto volt, and for the drip test with the uh, circuit uh, breaker. You are free to add from insert a test module, you can add uh, many more uh, uh, test modules, or you can remove some in case of you don't need. And as you can see here, here is a connection diagram which uh, show you how to connect the current and the voltage channel to your test object or, or uh, the protection relay. And here is the trip command, but you are free to uh, change this connection diagram. For example, this trip contact is connected to the binary input number one, but if you are using binary input number three or four, you can change it from the hardware configuration from the binary signal here. Here, the trip is configured as binary input one. I can make it for the binary input four based on my uh, application. So now the trip contact will be binary input number four. And here, you, as you can see here, you will have some instruction. If you, if you open this board module, it gives the instruction uh, for the engineer. So uh, here, please read the manual of the Omicron BTT for the Siemens 7SJ85, which is the BTT user manual, the BTF file inside the BTL. This is the third type. We please use the X-ray converter to enter the uh, relay parameters. Now it's giving you information which type of filter should be used for the 7SJ85. And also, please check the hardware configuration before the first step because you may have a change in the hardware configuration for the binary input or for the analog output. And also, please check and adapt the test modules so you are free to add some test modules or removing some test modules in case if you don't need. So once you click start button here, you can start continue all in automatic testing approach if you are finishing your customized test plan. It will give you this is the instruction beginning. So I will press continue. Then it will give you, please compare the current and the voltage values for the wiring test with the values shown on the relay setting. So this is for the measurement and the wiring check. Then it will open the wiring check. As you can see, it will start with different values of the voltage and the current. And then I will press bus and I can add any comment here or the measurement values, for example. Or I can add also a snapshot. If you take a snapshot from the software of the relay as, as a photo, you can copy and paste here so it will be displayed in your test report this is the values uh, i get it from the relay software once i inject this values so it will be very good for your uh, test report then you can click bust so this is the uh, btl and the differences between the btl so the, for the btl you didn't have to start from scratch we'll give you all the parameters inside as you can see so the, here is the parameter of the siemens protection relay with the city ratio with all kind of the parameters inside the software and here is the overcurrent, as you can see, the overcurrent B1. If you double click this overcurrent, it will give you some instructions and will give you some parameters. I will explain more in the overcurrent session, inshallah. Now we are uh, we are explaining the general test module for now. I will explain all of this. You will find all kind of uh, inverse of uh, IEC or IEEE of different time, many more uh, characteristic. And I hope uh, we will uh, see it actual uh, testing with the CMC. As you can see here so the btl no need to start from scratch it will be automatically linked to your parameter setting it means if you have two stages of overcurrent it will be automatically linked to the overcurrent module here and once you open the test module for the overcurrent dedicated function it will give you the id met for example to be uh, to allow you to start the testing uh, directly okay now we are finished the state sequencer and the general uh, test module from the home you have to select the test option and as you can see here if test result is assessed as failed, you have three options. Okay, you can select it, continue over all tests and with the next test module, so you can continue regardless of this failed module, or you can stop the overall test. You can select this option if you need the test module to be stopped until you check what is the issue, or you can uh, select ask the user. So it will give you a pop-up message that system this test module is failed. Do you need to continue or stop the test? So it depends on your uh, configuration. You have different configuration here. By the way, we have also the auto save uh, tab here in this option. If you need to enable the auto save, if in case of you uh, there is any shutdown of the power supply or you need to save the test report automatically one by one, you can enable this option and you can set the number of processed modules. So I can make it one. So it will uh, auto save the test report after each module. So once the test module is uh, 
is finished, it will say automatically save the test report. So if you have a shutdown or the power, the power of, of the battery of the laptop, it will give you the last save module to save your work and save your test report. So it's based on your uh, configuration.